Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of AI, The Somnium Files. And we were just interview Mizuki, who finally got her ability back to speak, thanks to her teacher, which they are far too close to each other, and there is so much going on here. There is so much craziness going on already in the background, so let's find out more about what happened to her. Um, about the Nile message. Yeah, she got a Nile Suzuki. message. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. <laughs> it ain't me. I swear, it ain't me. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> Suck it, Dyla. It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Wait. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Wait. What? Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. We don't know about... Wait, what? The game hasn't told us that. Yeah, that was it. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. When did we got that message? Seriously, like, maybe I'm going mental here, which, let's be honest, be surprised with this game, but I can't remember a single moment where we got that message and we know about this. Is he making this stuff up right now? Like, seriously, I, ca I can't remember that we heard about this. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... Well, don't you worry about that. He, um, took care of it. <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? Yeah. It's kind of suspicious, isn't it? Like, the daddy who basically, like, sent her off to our place is not caring for her daughter. And is now coming back with, Hi, hon, I need your help. Daddy is in real trouble. I just murdered your mommy. Help me out, hiding the body. Yay. I had to go. Like, what? But you invited Ota along. Yeah. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. We know that. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. And this is why she asked Ota. Ota? That dude Ota who did run away? Great choice. <sighs> about Renju. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? And she's becoming mute again. Heard what? Yeah. She does not know about the accident. Now, how could she? Uh, nothing. Just, just, just. He, he has to work overtime. He's so sorry. When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. Okay. She specifically said eye. So the eye was still there? I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Yeah. But where is the eye? After Ota ran away? Ah, forget about that dude. Yeah. He's a disgrace. Did you hear any sounds? <laughs> yeah, probably a... Sploosh! When she, like, tucked out the ice pick. Sounds? <laughs> like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. 
I just got scared and ran into the column. Okay. The door was open a little, so... Wait. The door was open of the column? <gasps> Maybe that's where the murderer was hiding? Confirmed. Confirmed? Call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I, I mean, yes. Um, was Shoko's... Yeah. Let's ask that. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. <laughs> we are a tool. Like an absolute tool. Like we are like a brick. It's like, so tell me more about how you plunge the um the ice pick out of the ice socket of your mother. What sound made it? Oh, and also, like, was there an eye on there? Tell me more. I'm pretty sure this didn't scare you for life, right? <laughs> we are such a tool, man. Thanks. <laughs> that smile. Oh. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. Oh, he is, he is at least realizing it. Well, thanks. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. No. It was already gone when she got there. I mean, it would have been weird if... W what did she do? Like, the eyeball was definitely not in the ice pick. So we know that. What... What could she have done with the eyeball? Like, put it into her pocket? That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Probably. At that point, yes. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Nice. Isn't that wonderful? It is. Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Yes. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. Yes. Nothing. No, no, there totally is. Like, if you are not a shitty police officer, you should, like, draw some pretty hefty conclusions here right now. Especially how everyone is linked to the murder person. Alright, let's go to the... I want to go to the marble as the last point of interest. Because I don't know what to expect here. Let's go to Central Hospital. But yeah, yeah, we we should already be like shocked about all the coincidences how everybody is just knowing each other here on a daily basis. Oh. Wait. Oh. Ah, ah. Hi. Where is he? He's not here. That's not the answer. As you can see. Yes. Where's Renju? He snuck out at night. Wait. Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. Yes. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. And then he just snuck out at night. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. Yeah. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. No, he that hasn't. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He yeah. has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital, even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. <laughs> Perhaps this is an escape. Iva, call in this gate. Roger that. Oh, it's Miss Boobs. Uh, I mean, the receptionist. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What? What kind of employee training to do? Do they have there? Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry, no clue. 
Oh my god. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the maid cafe. The what? Maid cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? <laughs> Sunfish Pocket. I see what you did there. Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm going to rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was going to throw like a secret party or something. But with the accident and all, still, he might be there. Oh, maybe he has amnesia or something. It's something in the accident where he, like, is still under shock and cannot remember anything and he's just going by his daily routine. Like, people have done that. This is also, why like, sometimes the reason why when people have, like, substantial injuries where they got, like, pierced by something, they don't even notice because they're in such a deep mental state of shock that they don't even, like, realizing what's going on. Like, you know, when people, I know this is a little bit dark, but when people are walking over the battlefield and they're looking for their lost limbs, they're in such a shock that they don't even realize what happened to them. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? Maybe that's it. It is worth scoping out. Oh, it definitely is. Um, bye. And hello, nurse. Uh, I mean, goodbye, nurse. Oh, I think there he is. Welcome home, Sea King. Mm. Sea King? Oh, <laughs> is this your first time here? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. He's on the left side. Yep. No, that's not him. Oh! What? Jeez, kid. The Excuse me. Oh, sir! Oh, wait a minute! Date? We need to talk. Also, mm, can I have that omelette rice? God, I, I would definitely. Cream soda, huh? Sounds about right. <laughs> also, ladies. So, who's your type, Date? Not your type, you creepy. Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? <laughs> I think he's saying he likes older women. Also, why are you here? Ooh, jellyfish. I like this light. It's like this amazing. I like that. It's pretty neat. Also, okay. Can you please put that away? Please? Who is putting that here? Is Renju here? No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... Oh! He comes sometimes, but not all that often. He is the owner? I thought that he was just renting out a place. In like, for a night, not owning it. <laughs> Wait, I can do an x-ray? Why would I do an x-ray on her? Also, the dude behind her is like, 
Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. She is not a mermaid. Even with x-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. <laughs> Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. I mean... Each to their own kinks. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. Oh what my. are you excited about? <laughs> uh, again, I'm not kink shaming here, man. What's with that spear? It's not a spear. It's a trident. It's the trident of Poseidon. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea? And it's a trident. You know, a trident? Yeah, I've played a lot. Uh, I played enough Hades in the last few weeks to know that. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. Oh, and this one is golden, so... Answering the question of coming here often. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. And he's golden, so yes, he's coming here quite a bit. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. <sighs> yes. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. No, because that would be your business model and the last thing those people want that you show their business model. Also, that's what streamers doing. Wait. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. <laughs> that doesn't sound nice either. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. Who is the ruthless one here? That sounds even worse. Yeah. What the heck? Are you a regular here? Sure am. Hmm? Okay, he's I honest. I come here whenever I've got time and money. So you shouldn't be a regular here. I was here yesterday too. Hmm. Around 6.30 I think. Oh. That would be an alibi for the murder, wouldn't it be? Hmm. Yes, my nose is itching. Somebody is thinking about me or is talking about me. One of the two. Oh, my nose is just itching. Who knows? But yeah, that could be a good alibi. But I couldn't get in. Oh. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. Right. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. So what did you do? So I bought a new one. Club? A new what? A phone. Oh. I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Oh, this was yesterday. I'm... Oh, I'm such an idiot. The murder is already two days ago. I... I have to remember that. Dumb me. I'm such a dingus. Um, what's with your trident? I'm still gold. Not that good. Oh no, you spent only half of your income yet? Oh, you're such a disgrace. You cannot ride, you don't have a girlfriend, you only have a golden trident. Like you were getting used by a 12 year old. You were like, just, oh. Get your life in order, dude. How much did you spend to get that? Yeah. Um, about 200,000 yen. That's about... 2,000... dollars. Give and take. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. <laughs> Thank you, Iber. I needed that. 
I, uh, I needed that. I mean, here's the thing, look, I don't kink shame. Hey, everybody needs a hobby, right? Like, better than him false flagging and trolling like somebody on Twitter, right? What he basically also does. Like, everyone needs a hobby. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the dude to talk. I'm playing video games. And I'm doing that for a living. Like, who am I to talk, right? Have you seen him, you? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? No, it is related to he had an accident. He's probably dying somewhere in the ditch. The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. Oh, he knows. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Yeah, you couldn't. Because before you could really take a look at the body, you ran away and you pissed your pants by doing so. And you left a 12 year old alone. Did she change her name or something? Back to her maiden's name. Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body. Yeah. And I just left her there and ran away like a coward. Good. Good. He's slowly realizing I'm such it. such a piece of shit. Hey, that's the first step of becoming better. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Well, you can't anymore. Done is done. But maybe for the foreseeable future, you don't try to be such a piece of shit. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Oh my god, that's it. Yeah, seriously. Ooh, love. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not here to king shame. I'm not here to king shame. Each to their own. While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order too, Date. Thank you, I'm not hungry. And I can also feed myself. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. Why are you here? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Tess? What? what? Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning. She was streaming. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming as usual. Yes. Good. From her living room at home. Yes. But suddenly. Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. <sighs> of course you do. And also they are vaults. Oh boy. Got it. I'll try my best. That is not what we streamers are doing. Okay, everyone. Here's my debut song. Let's hit it. Also, booty. Do we really have to watch the whole thing? I mean, it's better than me reacting to stuff. Who could it be at this hour? Is it Wait. Date again? Oh. Okay, one second, I'm coming! Sorry, everyone. Something came up. But I've gotta go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye! What? And... Okay. Something came out. Last night. <gasps> Renju. 
That was Renju. I'm 100% certain it was Renju. So about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Yeah. Is someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? Totally Renju. She looked really serious, too. Probably saw the wounds. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. Here's the thing, Sofa. This game... And wh why do I make this assumption? This game has shown very plainly that everyone is somehow interconnected to each other. So, Renju probably wanted to go to her old classmate, or to her old, not classmate, but high school friend. But she was not home, but I Iris was home, and so she basically took care of it, w whatever they're doing. But... Yeah, it's, it's pretty plainly that this game is trying to show everyone being interconnected to each other in some weird reason. And this is probably the case here. And it would it would make sense from she the didn't timing. didn't read any of my Nile messages either. I thought hmm. maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessa used to work here. Oh. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. Oh. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Mm. Iba, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Of course. No way. No, she is not dead. Oh, I hope not. If she is, then. Anyway. Prophecies are simply not possible. Yeah. Something wrong, sir? No, I just tried to call somebody with my eyeball. Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. Yeah, this is why you needed to be feed. Oh god. You look like you can eat just fine. I hate this dude. I hate this dude. Date, Ranju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the marble. Again, not that I really expect anything to get out of the marble. But let's see. Let's see where it leads us. Well, well, if it isn't Dante. Hi, Mama. Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. What is she cleaning there? What is that? About also. Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Damn! That is a picture, and also that music, like... Ren, meaning Renju Ukiura. You're as sharp Ukiura. as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Is that a knife? What is that? Don't, don't. Why is everyone cleaning their weapons in front of me? Or holding a weapon in front of me? God damn it. Well, we have to talk to this lovely lady in the next episode. Because we are done for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. And if you're new to the channel, and you might want to join us, you can click on the subscribe button. We are releasing at least one or two videos per day. We are also live streaming from Monday to Friday, starting at 8 a.m. ET, which right now is 9 a.m. because, well, we just switched, like, back to standard time here. 
or oh, daylight saving time, I always forget which. We, we switched the clocks back one hour in Europe and the US didn't do so. So if you're living in the US, you were basically like one hour later. But normally it's 8 a.m. 8 a.m. ET, which is 1 p.m. UK time and 2 p.m. Central European time for the rest. So thank you again so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.